Welcome to Media Farm, health information with a personal touch. I'm Dr. Dean Elb. Last week, the FDA announced approval of weight loss drug Belvic, the first in 13 years. With the public still leery from the Fen-Fen debacle of the 90s, did the FDA get things right? Stay tuned to learn more. We learned a lot from Fen-Fen, like how this kind of drug works by effects on serotonin 2C receptors in the brain, and how they can permanently damage heart valves by effects on serotonin 2B receptors in the heart. Belvique, or Lurcasserin, acts at serotonin 2C receptors and mostly leaves 2B receptors alone. In the three large, well-designed studies of thousands of patients, there was no signal of increased rates of heart valve damage. Other side effects of Lurcasserin were pretty straightforward. Headaches, dizziness, nausea, and low blood sugar in diabetics. No increase in psychiatric side effects was noted, but be cautious if you also take drugs affecting brain serotonin, such as antidepressants. We don't normally talk about side effects first, but such is the Fen-Fen effect. How well does Lurcasserin work for weight loss? In the Bloom study, after one year of Lurcasserin plus diet and exercise counseling, overweight or obese patients lost an average of eight pounds more than those who got placebo and counseling only. Almost half of Lurcasserin patients lost 5% of their body weight at one year, compared to 20% of those receiving placebo. But overall, this is a pretty modest effect on weight, folks. Similar results were seen in the year-long Blossom trial. As for metabolic parameters, there was a significant but slight drop in total cholesterol and no meaningful change in other metabolic parameters like triglycerides, fasting insulin, or A1C score, a measure of diabetes risk. A1C was lowered in the Bloom DM trial that specifically looked at diabetics. Those who lost weight after a year and were switched to placebo ended up regaining weight and being no different than the placebo group, while continued lurcasserin treatment did appear to help prevent regaining lost weight. Lurcasserin is taken twice daily, but why? We know once daily dosing is where things are at, and extended release pill technology has been available for a long time. Mark my words, assuming Belvique stays on the market, the manufacturer will come out with a long-acting formulation as an evergreening patent extender shortly before the patent expiry date. Why can't they just do this up front? But if you're first to market in a new drug category, you get to dictate the terms. Obesity is a big concern for many people, but given the history with diet drugs and the modest expected weight loss, are you willing to be among the first to try Belvique? You might want to consider focusing on diet and exercise for a while longer and wait for more post-marketing results before taking the plunge. This has been Dr. Dean Elb wishing you well from Media Farm Radio. Health information with a personal touch.